If you're car enthusiasts like myself and Morgan, then you've no doubt come face to face with someone who thinks that your pride and joy is exactly the same as the base run-of-the-mill car that your manufacturer produces, thinking that a Mazda 3 is exactly the same as an MPS. Well, my friend owns a Skyline just like your Skyline. But it's not an RB variant of Skyline. Um, so that happened to me uh, not too long ago with my Mercedes. Someone thought that it was an A180, which no offense, no, nothing against A180s, but when I'm paying almost double uh, and have almost triple the performance of an A180, I want people to know that. So today we are changing a few things on the exterior just to make sure it looks just that little bit different and more importantly, more aggressive. Uh, and we're starting off that by installing a brand new Pan America GTR grill. So yes, today the first modification for the Mercedes is a new grill. This is one of the first parts that I ordered as soon as I knew that I had the car because uh, when you're on the road, uh, this just looks like every other A-Class and uh, that's very annoying because this car is anything but just an A-Class. So today, I'm gonna chuck the new grill on. So first up, we have to take off the hardware that holds the front bumper at the top here. So it's just all these different screws uh, at the top. Then we have to move on to underneath the car and finally the wheel wells. There are a couple of screws, nuts and bolts there. So let's cue the montage. So we're now under the Mercedes. All we have to do is just disconnect all these funny looking eight mil as there's a ghost in our shed. Um, eight mil bolts that are holding the front bumper underneath. You can see that uh, it's tapped a few uh, driveways before. It's a little scratched up, but for 100,000 kilometers, it's not actually that bad. So um, yeah, we'll whip this off. So uh, what you're looking for when you're taking the bumper off is just to take off these two clips that'll gain access to inside um, into the front of the bumper. Um, and then what you're looking for are just two screws on the inside that bolt into this quarter panel. So to change the new grill over, um, all you have to do is just take a bit of the trim pieces off the inside of the bumper and then there's just a bunch of clips. And now that the new grill is in the bumper, all we have to do now is just put everything back together, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you're just repeating the process of taking everything off. But there's an oil thing on the thing. That is 
swing it. So the grill is installed and it looks mwah, spectacular. Looks so good. It was a little weird with the car having pretty much everything on the car had black accents. Black mirrors, black trim, black fins, black spoiler, black badging, yet the grill was silver. Never really understood that. Don't know why they'd, they'd do that, just, it's stupid. Um, so we put in the new grill. Now that ties things up perfectly. It's all black. The only silver is obviously the Mercedes logo itself. Um, so fingers crossed, people will realize that this is not a mere A-class. This is the creme de la creme, the thing that will throw you in the back of the seat and take most things on the road within reason. Baxter, you kind of, you take the cake with things on the road. But yes, it's done, it looks good. If someone still thinks this is a normal A-class, I'm just gonna wide body it. Like it's just, at that point, there's not much else I can do. You'd think, you'd think this will give it away. But yes, so if you've been enjoying the Mercedes mods, uh, hit that like button. Let us know below, do you like the new grill? Do you think the uh, old one or the one that originally came in the car was better? I uh, myself don't think so. The silver just, yeah, yeah. Uh, but most importantly, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, it means a lot to us. And we'll see you in the next Project B video.